Hey guys, I'm Kalila Reynolds. It's time for Money Mondays, brought to you in partnership with Proven Wealth. I want to talk to you today about expectations, especially for all you new investors out there. Nearly 12,000 brand new investors participated in the Wigton IPO. So there are a lot of you out there looking for information, trying to figure out what to do next. What's your next move? Well, Wigton has only been actively trading on the market for about a week and a half now. So calm down, guys. It's very early. It closed on Friday at 78 cents a share. That's up 56% from its original share price of 50 cents. So you've already made a pretty handsome profit. If you invested $10,000, for example, in Wigton, those shares are now worth $15,600 if you sell them today, minus any broker fees and taxes. I'd say that's pretty good for a week and a half. Now, some of you are expecting it to double and triple, and you might be disappointed, but you shouldn't be. That's a pretty decent return already in a very short time. Wigton's highest end of day trading so far has been 79 cents. And at one point last week, it dipped to 73 cents and change. Now, some of you are panicking over that. Oh my God, it fell. Does this mean I should sell now? Am I losing out? Again, just calm down. This is how the stock market works. It goes both ways. There are days when a particular stock's value will rise and days when it will fall and days when it will remain the same. And there are various reasons for this as demand ebbs and flows. When deciding whether to hold a stock or sell it, what you should pay attention to is the company's performance over time and news about its plans. You definitely want to read the business sections of the newspapers, which are published on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. And of course, follow Money Mondays and my Twitter, IG, and YouTube at Kalila Ray for all the latest financial news. Companies that are listed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange are required to publish their financials every quarter, as well as file their annual reports. These reports are published on the JSC's website daily, jamstockex.com. They also have a really handy app, so you can keep track yourself of both companies' news and market movements. If you're invested in a company, I'd strongly advise you to read those reports every quarter. See how the company's doing, if they're making a profit, what they're spending money on, where they're losing, what their plans are going forward. That's the information you should use to determine your next move. Likewise, if you're considering investing in a stock, check out those reports. If you don't understand them, Google or check out the reports in the media that give you the highlights. There's not enough time in this space for me to give you all the highlights of all the reports every week. So you're gonna have to do that research for yourself, although now and again, when something really stands out, I'll probably mention it here. All that said, it's really early with Wigton still. They haven't even had their first filing yet. So don't freak out over these little movements. It's gonna happen and you need to expect that that's a normal part of how the market works. Now, I'm not a licensed financial advisor, so I'm not gonna tell you what to do right now if you should sell or buy or whatever. That decision is entirely up to you. I can only urge you to make the best decision based on information and data rather than fear and panic. FYI guys, in other news, I'm heading to Trinidad today for the Caribbean Development Bank's Board of Governors meeting. I'll be reporting from Trinidad all week and seeking to get a sense of how things are going in the region. So you definitely want to stay tuned to my page for those updates, mostly on Wednesday and Thursday. That's it for Money Mondays this week, guys. I'm Kalila. See you next week.